Hey guys and welcome to my YouTube channel which provides geography videos for school pupils and teachers across the UK. In this video I'm going to be looking at how we can reduce the effects of earthquakes through building design. So let's jump straight in. Feel free just to watch and listen or draw down, write down what I draw onto the whiteboard. Here we go. So perfect example um, of a country that are leading world experts in building design for earthquakes is Japan. Mainly because they've got the financial means to be able to do this. So here we go. Here's uh, ground level. Let's draw a big building on. There's our building. Okay, so the first thing that we can have on our buildings is in the roof, we could have a pendulum. Now the idea of this pendulum is if there's an earthquake and a building sways one way, the pendulum is gonna act as a counterbalance and sway the building the opposite direction to kind of stop the building from swaying to make sure it stands still. Okay, so the building goes right, pendulum goes left, and it adds as a counterbalance to make sure the building remains standing. So that's number one. The second one, across the building in its structure, they have cross bracing. Now cross bracing provides the building with more stability and strength. So when there is that earthquake, huge earthquake, the vibrations off the grounds, that building can, because it's got the structure within, to remain standing. So number two is cross bracing. The third one. Guys, I'm interrupting your geography lesson for 60 seconds only. Stay with me, listen to me. You're probably watching this video now because you are studying at GCSE Geography. Am I right? Yes? Good. Now, are you struggling with your revision? Do you not know what to revise? Are you struggling with structure, with time management, with exam skill? If any of these things apply to you with your revision, help is at hand. Presenting a brand new online tuition platform designed to help every school pupil towards exam success in their GCSE geography. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the Genius Geography Guide. If you would like further details about this amazing online platform, click on the link below this video and all the details will be there. Now back to your video. Goes without saying, is deep foundations. So once again, just like the roots of a tree, uh, the deeper the roots, the more strength and structure that tree's got, stability it has from being blown over, okay? But in, this, in the case of a building, from falling over due to the earthquake. Deeper the foundations, the better. The fourth one, throughout the building, we can have shock absorbers. And a shock absorber does exactly what it says on the tin. It absorbs the energy of an earthquake. So the more energy that's absorbed, the safer the building is going to remain. The next one is windows have automatic shutters, which will come down in the event of an earthquake because Imagine the damage, you've got a massive skyscraper, you've got an earthquake, and all that glass falls down onto the people on the road beneath them. Very dangerous. So as soon as the ground starts to shake, automatic shutters come straight down to stop that glass falling onto people on the road beneath the building. All right? The next one. Buildings are not built too close together, all right? Because the danger would be is if this building fell, it would fall straight into this one. But if there's a bit of distance between each building, that reduces that risk, 
Okay, so they're trying to keep buildings as far apart as possible, which isn't the easiest in Japan because land very much is, is limited, um, but they are trying to go with that principle of keeping buildings separate. And the last one is ensuring that there's a space outside for people to evacuate to. And all the people that would work, live in those buildings would know about this evacuation point. So when there was an earthquake, they would automatically report to that point to be registered to ensure that they are safe. So that was a very quick overview, but let's just go through it one last time, okay? So number one. A pendulum in the roof of the building acts as a counterbalance. Number two, cross bracing. So within the structure of the building, there's more of a cross bracing design. Once again, provides more stability and strength for the building. Number three, very deep foundations. So think of this like the deep roots of a tree. The deeper the foundations, the deeper the roots, less chance the tree, the building, is going to topple over. Number four, the building has shock absorbers throughout it. And a shock absorber, like I said, does exactly what it says on the tin. It absorbs the power, the energy from the earthquake. Number five, buildings have automatic shutters on them. So as soon as the earthquake hits, the shutters automatically come down, which prevents any glass from falling on people on the street below. Number six, is making sure there is enough distance between buildings. So if there is an earthquake and a building did fall, we don't want that domino effect where building falls and building falls and building falls and building. There's a bit of room around it to prevent that from happening. And the last one is having space around the building where there would be evacuation points for people that work or live in that building. So they know exactly where to go to be registered so everyone knows that they are safe. So, there it is. How to reduce the effects of earthquakes by building design with a case study of Japan. Guys, hopefully this video has been useful. Um, if it has, please do give this video a like share this video, subscribe to the channel and add a positive comment down below. I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Take care.